Bachelor Nation is one step closer to finding out who Peter Weber will choose to spend the rest of his life with. During part one of the Bachelor finale, Weber's final girls got to meet his parents, Barbara and Peter Sr., as well as his baby brother Jack. After a difficult meeting with Weber's family, Madison Pruitt had a difficult conversation with Weber. But as Pruitt was doing so, the Australian outback seemed to have other plans. Spoiler alert, this post contains spoilers for part one of the Bachelor season finale. Weber's parents first met Pruitt when he brought her to their vow renewal. It was early on in the competition, but the Webers seemed to think Pruitt was a good match for their son. When Barbara and Peter Sr. learned of Pruitt's ultimatum, their feelings began to change. Before Pruitt even arrived at their Australian villa, Weber's parents had their minds made up, Hannah Ann Sluss was the woman for Weber, as far as they were concerned. It's hard enough to be the second girl visiting with the bachelor's parents, but even harder for Pruitt because Weber's parents mistook her, sharing her heart, as an ultimatum. Pruitt's final date with Weber took place after her awkward family encounter. The couple took a helicopter over Uluru, but not even a sacred rock could protect Weber from what was coming next. Pruitt expressed over and over again how she loved Weber, but she could also clearly see how different they were from each other. That's when she decided to surrender. After their helicopter flight, Weber poured some sparkling apple juice for Pruitt, further demonstrating their differences in lifestyle. Weber's mom made it clear to Pruitt that Weber liked to drink, liked to party, liked to socialize. It was at this point Pruitt questioned whether or not love could conquer all. As much as we want this, I don't know that we can give each other what we need, Pruitt said. Considering Barbara's wishes, Pruitt told Weber she didn't want him to change for her. In letting him go, Pruitt hoped Weber would be able to find his soulmate. As Pruitt was breaking Weber's heart, the Australian outback seemed to be rebelling against their separation. Throughout Pruitt's entire breakup monologue, she and Weber swatted away pesky bugs. I just got more of a sight into life outside of this, Pruitt explained as a small fly landed on her face. Distracted, she swatted the bug away and continued, I wouldn't want you to feel like you have to change any of that for someone that you want to be with, swat, and I wouldn't want to feel like I have to change any of that for someone I want to be with, swat. At this point, Weber was rendered speechless and could only sway his head back and forth between his shoulders to prevent bugs from landing on him. When he finally found the words to explain to Pruitt that he was willing to do whatever it took to be with her, the bugs were back with a vengeance. Weber's arm flew distractingly so amidst his intense and emotional conversation with Pruitt, and Bachelor Nation had a hard time ignoring it. One fan on Twitter called the producers of the show, the real winners for, setting the couples up in the middle of the Australian outback to have serious discussions in that red clay with all the bugs. Did the Bachelor producers do this on purpose, or was it an honest mistake? That's neither here nor there, what's important is part two of the Bachelor finale tonight. Will Pruitt return to fight for love, will Weber settle for Sluss, or will something completely unexpected happen? Tune into the Bachelor tonight on ABC.